Okay, today we'll be doing a review of a portable power station from a company called Mylin. This is what they consider a mid-range uh, power station. It has a battery capacity of 622 watt hours and AC capacity of 600 watt uh, continuous and I believe 1000 watt surge capability. All the ports on this units are all out in front. Here we have a DC input. That's a barrel size of 2.5 millimeter. An LCD display port with a watt meter in and a watt meter out. A battery percentage that's in both numbers and bars. We got uh, four USB ports, three USB or type A ports with a 2.4 amp. And one is a USB type C power delivery port, 100 watt, that get both input and output. And we got uh, two AC ports. And we have the DC ports right here. We got one hard accessory port and two barrel style ports. These are also 2.5 millimeter. On the back, we got uh, one giant floodlight LED that has mode low, medium, high, and everybody's favorite, SOS. And on the side, it's just vents, large vents. Okay, and here are some of the specs of the unit itself. Uh, two of the specs that are not listed here is that this unit does have a MPPT solo charge controller. And also its DC port is uh, regulated. It stays at 13 volt throughout the whole uh, the battery range. Okay, here we're testing the dual charging capability of this unit. I'm using the 90 watt power brake charger. And then I'm gonna add the 100 watt USB type C. Okay, with both of these input, we get about 172 watt hours going into the unit. So for this test, we're gonna simulate solar input, which allows up to 120 watts going in. And here we go, 120 watts. Now we're gonna add the USB 100 watt Type-C. Yeah, with this combo, we get a combined of 208 watts going to the A unit. We're going to test the pass-through capability charging of this unit. It is charging right now. And the USB port works. AC port works. and the DC port works. So yeah, with charging, all three ports still works. Okay, in this test, I'll try to show you that you don't actually need power delivery to charge this unit. You could charge it through any USB port. Here, I'm using an old style Apple 5 watt charger. Everybody's favorite. And as you can see, it's charging at 5 watts. 
not very practical, but I'm just showing that it can be done. Okay, let's do some real world tests of this power station. First off, we're going to test it to the 600 watt limit, and I just so happen to have a 600 watt mini pot cooker. I throw in about two and a half cup of water. Let's see how long it takes to boil it. Yeah, so I stopped this test at the five minute mark, but as you can see, it ran 640 watts continuously for five minutes without a problem. This thing is only rated at for 600 watts. It's got a fantastic uh, AC port system. Here I'm doing a battery test of the AC load and I get a capacity of 550 watt hours out of the 622 so I'm looking at 88% efficiency not too bad okay on the DC side we get 582 out of 622 so over 90% efficiency Okay, this Milan power station has one major flaw with it. If you plan to use this to power a fridge with the DC output, uh, they got a tendency to just power down after seven, eight seconds under no load. And if you own a 12 volt fridge, once the compressor cycle on and then they cycle off, there will be no load. This thing can't detect any load and it will turn off. That means the refrigerator won't ever turn on again. So you either have to use the AC port if you plan to use a 12 volt fridge or you got to get one of these uh, cigarette lighter adapter with the USB ports. And basically what you do is uh, you put on at least a one watt load. Once they detect a one watt load or more, this thing will always keep the DC port alive. If you see the meter over right here, there's a one watt load. It flickers on and off, but yeah, there's a one watt load here. That's why this port is still on.
So if I remove these load, you see the port will die in about seven eighths in. Just look at this display right here. See? Yeah, this is a, the only major flaw I see around with this. Okay, so what do I think of this power station? Uh, I think it's a very good buy. Uh, you could usually get it at a pretty low price. Uh, the starting price is $500, and they usually have a $100, $150 coupon in there, which makes their uh, watt per hour price very attractive. And they have some uh, pretty unique features. Uh, dual charging. Uh, my favorite, USB Type-C 100 watt input and output which means you could have uh, charging bricks in your car or whatever, and you always have an avenue to recharge this thing. Uh, they have a excellent, excellent AC port. You could run this thing 600 watt all day long. Uh, the only knock on them is the DC port, but that only affects you if you plan to run a 12 volt fridge with it. Uh, if you power any other DC appliance, it will just be fine. So I plan to do more review videos of, regarding this uh, unit. I'm just still waiting for some solar panel that I ordered over a month ago, but so far they are back order. They have no shipping dates, so I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to get them. But uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the solar panel. Uh, I hope this review is helpful. Uh, and I'll see you next time.